Minus 46 feels like minus 58. Putting our Leica C diesel heater to the test in the most extreme cold weather conditions. This is a personal review. We are not sponsored in any way. These guys are all comfy. Okay. That's what they came for. Beautiful shot. Holy. So it's minus 45 today and we had a sweeter heater on the chickens, but it wasn't keeping up. It, they were getting frostbite on their combs, even with the sweeter here. So we uh, we put a diesel heater in our chicken coop just to keep uh, keep them warm. Because I mean, I, I don't think they would survive minus 45 in this weather. It's um, it's really cold, and I mean, even being out here for 10 minutes, you could feel your cheeks start to burn and uh, it, it, it's, it's really hard. Um, so basically we just set it up, uh, vent it into the door, uh, the exhaust goes outside. We have a battery, but I also have a trickle charger on the battery just to make sure because it's minus 45, it's, it'll, it'll die quick. Um, but anyways, we got uh, diesel heater and it's nice and comfortable in there for them. They're all quite content. How you guys doing? All huddled in the corner. Cold. Yeah, we got the diesel heater. There's the air inlet and the exhaust. It's bent it outside. Uh, just drilled a hole and I put the thermostat inside the coop so it can regulate the temperature. I have it set at plus five, but uh, it's never even gotten up to plus five. I have it on the third setting. There's six settings. Um, we had them in the coop yesterday when it was minus 30, and uh, some of them still got frostbite. So. Even though we had that vented in the in the run during the day and in the coop at night, and the sweeter heater was good till minus twenty, and now now it's just too cold. I mean, yeah, I can't even stay out here that much longer. I'm frozen. It's uh, it's bloody crazy. I don't know how people do it without heat for the chicken coops. I feel sorry if anybody has chickens and they're in this minus forty five Celsius weather. Have some pumpkin. Oh. I get colder yet. Minus 45 outside, minus 15 in the coop. So it's minus 45 out this morning, Celsius. And uh, we've run into one problem with the diesel heater. Uh, it can't, can't heat up the intake. The intake is freezing at this temperature. So I gotta figure out that. I've wiped it off, but I've wiped it off, but that's the best I can do. It's icing up pretty good. Exhaust is putting out. Ugh. These guys are all comfy. Hey, okay. guys, all comfy. So that's getting warm. So last night it was uh, minus 46 degrees all night, uh, minus 60 with the wind chill. Uh, I, I don't think a bird would survive that, so I'm so glad we put a diesel heater in our coop. The electricity wasn't keeping up uh, with those little thermal heaters. 
and the sweeter heater that we installed a few months back it uh it keeps the tops of the chickens warm but at minus 46 i mean everything's gonna freeze and i mean all we can do is use a diesel heater keep them happy and healthy right what do you do on a cold day you work on your fireplace let me know in the comments if anybody knows any way to keep frost off a diesel heater intake. It's um, kind of becoming a problem. I gotta go out there every hour and wipe off the frost. So I've been to three different gas stations. Word of advice before it gets cold like this is uh, fill up your jerry cans because a lot of the gas station pumps won't pump when it's this cold. Uh, so I did find one gas station uh, and it had uh, diesel in it. I got a trickle out of it enough to get a jerry can full so our chickens will be warm with a diesel heater. Word of advice, make sure you fill up your jerry cans when you know it's gonna get cold. Okay. Open them up, check for eggs. See if there's any eggs in this balmy minus 35 day. Daytime temp. Hurry up, there's no eggs in there. Close that one. Open that one yet? Uh, no, just Pidgey. They are laying though, so come back in an hour. You can look in the chicken coop, yeah? Yeah. Oh. There's two eggs in there. You want to get them? Yeah. Just get the eggs. Go over there. Don't worry, they won't hurt you. So and this is what happens to eggs when it's minus 35 out. I got two, but they're both frozen solid, so they won't be any good. Here, kiddo, take it. I'm gonna carry the pumpkin that we gave them this morning. Gave them a pumpkin to eat. They could use the warmth and the seeds and energy to keep warm. Yeah, a lot of people say you shouldn't heat your coop, but uh, I know a lot of you guys are in the States and minus 12, minus 15, yeah, that's fine for chickens. Um, they can tolerate that. Last night in our coop with heat, got down to minus 18. So I'm happy about that. Uh, whereas where we are right now with minus 45 at night, uh, if we didn't heat our coop, our coop would be minus 35, minus 40. And those chickens would have frostbite and they would just be suffering like crazy. So that is the reason why we heat our coop here in Alberta. Another reason we went with the diesel heater is because it's also battery operated. Yes, we have the trickle charger on it, but if for some reason we lose power, uh, which you're known to do when it gets this cold, the power lines can't keep tricking, uh, can't keep ticking if, um, if it's this cold. And uh, at least this will keep running even with the battery and it'll keep the heat because what'll happen is if, if the chickens actually lose heat, they could die. Uh, if they don't have uh, constant heat and it drops really quick and a really fast uh, drop in temperature, it will it will actually kill your chickens. Uh, and humidity, humidity is not such a big deal um, because like we're still getting frostbite on our chickens before we put the diesel heater in and our humidity was only at 20%. It is the cold. The cold will give your chickens frostbite. Um, a lot of people think it's the humidity that you have to worry about. Yes, you have to worry about the humidity. They will get a lot more frostbite with humidity, but it's it's the cold temperatures. You get down to minus 10, minus 20, you get frostbite, right? If you're outside, like, like my cheeks are sore right now. And if I stay out here for another 20, 30 minutes, I'm gonna end up with frostbite. It's just that simple. Um, so just be mindful. Uh, I know a lot of people don't put heat in their coops, but we opted to and uh, we have a backup as well because these guys are running on electricity with the sweeter heater in there as well and if for some reason the power goes out at least we have the diesel heater and it'll keep ticking on the battery for at least five or six hours until we get power back and if not well then we have a battery bank that we can hook up to it and keep that battery topped up right Across Alberta, temperatures hit minus 40 and lower, and the Alberta Energy System operator issued a grid alert as demand hit an all-time high. This is night three with the diesel heater. Let's go uh, check on it. It's uh, minus 40 outside right now, and we'll see how it's doing. How you guys doing? Let's 
minus 12 in the coop, minus 41 outside, minus 50 with the wind chill, minus 37 in the run. It's with the diesel heater on. So yeah, they're calling for about minus 50 tonight. So I will see how that pans out. Uh, the diesel heater's running good now. I got the intake is taken care of now. I got it over by the vent pipe that goes into the coop to stay a little bit warmer so it won't frost up. Hopefully that helps. We'll keep an eye on it, top up the diesel tank. Well guys, uh, looking forward to summer and uh, hope this information is helpful and we'll see you guys in the next one.